Welcome back. We are proud to partner with American Senior Communities. It's good information, and perhaps you have a loved one who's ready to make a transition into a senior living facility. Perhaps they need a little bit of help. No, regardless, you need to check out American Senior Communities because there's a lot of different facilities that specialize in certain areas. Today we're talking to a Abby Polster, who is an occupational therapist, and Abby is the director of therapy as well at Todd Dickey Nursing and Rehabilitation. Abby, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, let's talk a little bit about you have a program there, and I mentioned specialties, called the Moving Forward Program. Okay, so what's that all about? The Moving Forward Rehab Program is our short-term rehab, acute, post-acute rehab program where um, someone admits from a hospital due to anything from CHF to a total hip replacement and they receive therapy services, skilled nursing services to get them back to their prior level and back to their home environment. Oh, okay. So what, what we're saying is, okay, if you're going through, is it temporary? Right. Uh, so, so if someone's had surgery or something, like you mentioned with the hip replacement or something, you want to get them back to where they're back to life. Right. That's the bottom line on that one. Okay. Now, um, I mentioned dementia before. Mm -hmm. Okay. This dementia, I think, is if you've ever had a loved one affected by dementia, this, this touches you right in the heart. Good news is you have programs and facilities available to help those. Tell me a little bit about that. Our um, Augustus Dementia Cottage is not your stereotypical dementia unit by any means. It's a secure living environment. When you walk onto our cottage, you enter their world. And it's very special um, the way that it's set up. We do a, um, a daily, mean, a meaningful day calendar throughout the day where there are activities every 30 minutes between meals and they participate in anything from hit, um, spiritual cognitive, functional, all of the um, portions of a meaningful day that you would engage in at home, they incorporate into the cottage environment. And they do meal preparations, they do cooking, they do um, home management tasks as well as play games, trivia, bingo, a lot of things that they enjoy to do. Um, it sounds to me, Abby, that this is interesting in that what you want to do with someone who has dementia or any kind of brain-related challenge, that you just want to keep them engaged. So when you talk about all these activities, then what, what you're doing is keeping that brain working, and therefore you're kind of slowing down the process, right? Right. We keep them positively engaged from the time they wake up to the time that they go to sleep at night. The Meaningful Day calendar mirrors your energy levels throughout the day, so you may start your morning with a little more energize a little more functional activities and after lunch they may do a more spiritual or a music activity to help slow you down and rest before uh, ramping it back up again in the afternoon. Abby I've talked to professionals like you from American senior communities and it seems to me first of all very compassionate people which is important but it, but it's also important that to you that the families are involved Right. Because I think what can happen, and you know this because of, with memory care, that if you have a loved one who maybe you haven't seen at Christmas or, or until Thanksgiving or maybe now Easter and you see them and they seem to be slipping a little bit, it's important to get in front of that. So would you recommend the entire family come out to see the Augustus Cottage? How does it work as far as if they want to check out your facility? Oh, definitely. I think that anyone that is involved in that person's life should be invited to come and take a tour and meet the staff and learn about the programming. We have a program called the Care Companions where each resident is paired with a staff member and that staff member stays in close contact with not only the resident on a daily basis but the family on a frequent basis. So any questions the family has, they know who they can call, they know who visits their family member at least once a day because we're in the building once a day. and. Um, it just kind of to have that one person they can contact if they have questions or concerns or if they want an update. This may be a little uh, an easy question for you, a little shallow, but I think there's a lot of folks who are familiar with PTs, physical mm -hmm. therapists, but you're an occupational therapist. What exactly does an occupational therapist do? Right. We will go, especially someone that resides on the cottage, we'll go into their living environment and just because you may have dementia or Alzheimer's or a cognitive deficit, you still it's a dignity issue and it's a safety issue that we want you to be able to take care of yourself as well as possible for as long as possible. So we can use adaptive equipment, we can use internal and external compensatory strategies, we use strengthening and coordination activities, things to keep you able to do those things. Even if you are a little confused, a little forgetful, or um, using a wheelchair throughout the day, you can still be as independent as possible. All right, and, and Abby, in your words, so when we're talking about your facility, mm -hmm. Todd Dickey Nursing and Rehabilitation, what would would you say are the, the strengths of what you do there at that specific facility? I feel like we're very special. We are very small 
and we have a very consistent staff so a lot of the residents view the staff as family everyone that works in the building the, like I mentioned the care companions program it's very important to us I mean we take it to heart and we just try to create that environment that even when we leave for the day we come back the next morning and we have thought about these people throughout the night and they are our family yeah make, making friends doesn't hurt does it mm -hmm. you look at some of the pictures you looked at some of those pictures there it's a beautiful facility very very nice I'm impressed right it is it is very beautiful um, it's newly renovated and they it's it's very beautiful. A lot of the people that uh, visit there, the family members, they're very happy to see that their loved one can live in such a beautiful environment. Yeah, making friends, getting you know, getting better, living a full life. You know, I've I've had people on before from American Senior Communities, and they said, you know, I didn't expect this to be one of the most enjoying parts of my life, and it has become that thanks to the professionals at American Senior Communities. What what do you hear? What are some of the favorite activities from some of the residents? I always get a kick out of this. Well, of course, bingo. <laughs> <But> <laughs> that's okay. That, that's the number one. But um, they also actually. Activities is really creative. We integrate um, patients' desires or things that they like to do in the Meaningful Day calendar. So they'll have cooking with a specific resident that enjoys cooking, and that resident will almost kind of lead the activity or help to lead it. Or they'll have um, story time with someone, and they'll um, spark a topic of the story of something that they wanted to talk about. And just kind of a, it's really collaborative. Yeah, so it's very specialized mm -hmm. and personalized to that specific resident. Right. Okay. All right, again, American Senior Communities, there's so many facilities, a lot of information, hard to squeeze it in in one segment, but you can give them a call today. You can pay them a visit. We recommend the family. Of course you want to be involved. That's, it's your loved ones. Get out there and see Abby if you would. There is the number on the screen. Abby, thank you so much. Really good information. Thank you. Yeah, and I can always tell, American Senior Communities, as you see the website, very compassionate people as well. Not only professional, the resume matches up, but also it's important when you're dealing with your loved ones that compassion is a part of the equation as well. Again, thank you so much for watching Wave 3 Listens. And, and Abby, again, continued success to you. And we'll be right back on Wave 3 Listens Live.